Welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk Boxing. I'm Letty. I'm LB. And we're going to get into the fight we finished watching um, with Joe Gonzalez out yep, of California yep. versus Isaac Dog Bay out of Ghana. Naho! Yeah, we heard that throughout the whole fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, what do you think about it? Um, I thought it was a, I thought it was a competitive fight. Uh, coming into this fight, um, I remember talking to you and I was telling you, I was like, I feel like this fight's gonna be a, it's gonna be a, I don't know who's gonna kind of win this fight. You know, I remember being a 50 50 fight. Um, you know, it's been really amazing to see um, the progression of Dog Bay, uh, especially since the Navarrete. Uh, if you remember um, in the Navarrete fight, you know, um, he was the champion and Navarrete was the challenger. Came in, you know, and beat him and took his title in two brutal wars, and then they ended up having a rematch. And uh, not, it was just, it was just, a, it was a brutal war, you know, that, that he took. Um, and so after that, you know, he had a, a coaching change, and he had um, Barry Hunter, and uh, Which I gotta talk, coached him throughout the whole yeah. fight. And I think yeah, that was that. The, I think that was the his backbone on that fight, and yeah. I think that's what you know gave him the edge on the fight. Yeah. Um, the way you know he was giving him the pointers, the motivation that he was talking on there, you yeah. know, and. I think that really yeah. helped him out. Definitely. And um, you can see, like, throughout the fights, uh, since um, since Dog Bay has had the trainer, you can just see his gradually his gradual change. Um, you know, he's had, like, a couple majority decisions, but him as a fighter, he can tell that he's evolved. Even though he had some close close fights, you know, he evolved as a fighter. Um, you know, before, you know, he got uh, Barry Hunter, he used to just jump in and uh, all one speed. You know, he wasn't very predictable, didn't really box, and he just relied on his pure heart. And grit. And if you watch Dog Bay, man, he's not short of any heart. You know, he just, he just, he always, I always tell her, like, you know, and uh, even Andre Ward kind of talked about it, how he always has to dig deep. And I was like, and he had to do it again today. I mean, look at what Joette did. Joette, uh, in the fourth round, um, you know, he, he hurt him. And, you know, and every time, you know, he kind of gets hurt, he kind of, it kind of shows the body language of how he felt in the Navarrete fight. So, um, but, you know, to see him come out on the other side, you know, it was a good story. Um, it puts him in place. Um, this was a title eliminator, so it puts him in place for a uh, for a title shot. But yeah, I mean, all in all, it was a good fight. It was competitive. It was a war. Yeah, it was, it was a war. war. Um, you know, uh, it was a really close fight. It could have went either way. It could have been a draw. It could have been either way. You know, um, Joe Gonzalez. You know, he started off a little bit slow. Yeah. Um, and I think that was kind of on the back end that kind of hurt him on not getting Definitely. the win. He turned up like in round four. That's when he started letting go yeah. of his hands more. On the first round, he wasn't really throwing m yeah. much. It's like he was just staying on the outside and just... Yeah, it seemed like he was just kind of uh, trying to... I don't know if he was trying to get the uh, get the timing of Dog Bay. or It seemed like actually, I think in one of his interviews, the uh, post-fight interviews, he thought like, you know, Dog Bay was going to uh, actually be jumping in more. And, um, you know, and he did it. So, and, so in the beginning of the fight, Dog Bay, you know, he banked about four rounds, and that's what I was trying to tell her, you know, um, after that, the fight got more competitive, but, you know, he had a lot, had a lot of, um, he had a lot of the rounds in the bank, uh, going into, you know, the, the, the last two rounds, man, those last two rounds was tight. Yeah, and you yeah. know what, again, shout out to the boxers, the yeah. conditioning that they put oh, in to be in the oh, ring, man. guys, yeah. like, that is crazy, the like, yeah, well, it was yeah. like on the, the eight, ninth round, that yeah. I was like, I was feeling exhausted for them, you know? Yeah. Like, it was just non-stop, non-stop punches. And, like, yeah. you could tell that, of course, you know, there were punches weren't being as effective because they were hella tired, you yeah. know? Um, but they kept it to the last hey. ring of the bell. They mm -hmm. were going at it. It was a freaking war. Yeah. I enjoyed watching every second of it. Yeah, yeah. And um, to kind of go off of that, hey, talk about Dog Baby's body work, man. He was going, he goes to the body so well. Even before yeah. Mary Hunter, he did a good job of going to the body, but... But man, he was, he looked so much more sharper. Um, you know, he looked so much more sharper and he was going to the body. And I was telling her, I was like, he's already there. You know, he, you know, him being, you know, short and, you know, in size, you know, he's right there for the body. And he was, he was attacking the body. I was telling her, I was like, man, I feel like Joe S going to be, his body going to be hurting tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I was like, oh my God, yeah. what is he doing to his insides, yeah. you know? Um, but yeah, Dog Bay, he was a little, you know, shorter. Yeah. So like you said, he was already in there to get to the body. Yeah. Um, and then Joanne has also said that like it's harder for him to fight shorter fighters because yeah. he's that punched down. Yeah. And again, he was waiting for Doc Bay to come in. He was yeah. like, but he never came in. Yeah. So, you know, after a few rounds, Joanne had to go in there and get it. And, you know, yeah. I think Joanne performed well as well. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, definitely. I, I, 
you know, I yeah. love to see Joe yeah. get in there because he's, you know, he's a warrior and he gets yeah. in and he fights too, you know? Yeah. He just started a little bit too slow. Yeah, he started he started too slow. Um, and, you know, it was, it was a good matchup from, from the beginning just because of, uh, we've seen them, you know, the, with their similar opponents in Navarrete, both of them. Both of them, um, um, you know, gave good performances against Navarrete, even though Navarrete came on uh, on top. But um, but yeah, I mean, and it, and it and the fight didn't disappoint. Like you said, it was a competitive fight. Um, you know, Dog Bay ended up the champion, but you know, it was, it was a good performance by both. It's yeah. going to be interesting to see where both of them go next. Mm -hmm. So with that kind of being uh, said, um, uh, I mean, who do you want to see him fight next? I mean, um, we kind of you know about what? It, yeah. They actually were talking about Navarrete, the the trilogy with Navarrete and Dog Bay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I know how you feel about that. He was like, "Nah, I don't think that's gonna be good." Yeah. Um, but if he's a title elim, he, if he already has the title eliminator yeah, at one see. point, mm -hmm. if Navarrete's gonna stay at one twenty six, he's gonna have to face him again, yeah. right? Yeah. Or they could try to maybe position him for another belt, but he'd have to fight, you know, somewhere else in the rankings to kind of get um, to get that shot over there. But, yeah, for me, in the Navarrete fight, I think that he's improved a lot as a fighter, but I don't think he's improved enough to get over the hump of Navarrete. Yeah. Um, but, well, but, I mean, besides him... Yeah, yeah, so I kind of talked about it in our previous video uh, with Rovesi Ramirez in that video. I would, I, would, I would like to see him fight the winner. I think that would be a good, um, a good fight. Um, now, I, it's going to be interesting if top rank, you know, which way top rank kind of moves, you know, mm -hmm. because I think that would be good. And, um, you know, it'll give uh, a Robesi a fight, too, before he gets to Navarrete, because, you know, he just, you know, he just had a big step up in Nova and he passed with flying, uh, flying colors. So I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind that matchup, and he yeah. even he even tweeted out that he would he, he would did. like that matchup. He did. Uh -huh. And I like Ruiz. He surprised yeah. me. Like I didn't, you know, he surprised me when I seen him fight against Nova. Again, I said he's got a personality for sure. Um, and yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing him against jo Joed or even Dog Bay. You know, I think that'd be a good ass fight. Yeah. It's gonna be blows on blows, um, yeah. and it should be good. Yeah. So I think yeah, the Ruiz would be good um, for. Um, Joette, uh, I'm not really sure, you know, who I want to see him in the ring with. I think he needs to, um, you know, I think he needs to get back to to the drawing board and, uh, you know, see what matches up for him. But, um, but, but yeah, I definitely, like I said, I like that real basey and dog baby. We'll just have to see what Top Rank. Top Rank has so many fighters over there. So we'll just have to wait and see. But, um, you know, it was a good performance by Dog Bay. A uh, great story, um, you know, to, to take that brutal punishment from Navarrete and to still... Because, um, you know, a lot of people thought that Dog Bay, you know, pretty much had nothing left in the tank. And he screwed everyone wrong. I mean, I, you know, me watching him after, you know, um, Navarrete, I've seen him really, really improve. He has those moments in the fights where uh, where it feels like he's laxing back and he shows the body language where he was against Navarrete. But to come out, man, what a story. And, and he, it looked like he had a pop, you know, yeah, he got on, on, his, on his punches. Man. And he wouldn't stop either. He was, you know, going at it. Like you yeah. said, I think the biggest thing was just the body was just yeah. like getting all yeah. kinds of punches like in that way yeah but man dog bay got a lot of heart and i'm excited to see the chemistry just build with uh him and uh barry hunter they've come so far in, uh in a short amount of time it's just really impressive you know how good how and it shows how important it is to have a really good trainer in your uh in your oh, corner absolutely. yeah <laughs> yeah yeah definitely absolutely. definitely but that's all we got. So uh, thanks for tuning in, y'all. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Or talk your shit. And we out.